Cardiac ablation or catheter ablation is a common minimally invasive procedure to treat irregular heartbeats known as arrhythmias. When you arrive at Sunnybrook for your procedure, you will go to the third floor of B Wing. Our nursing staff will prepare you for your procedure. When ready, you will be transferred to the catheterization or cath lab. During the procedure, a catheter and small wire will be placed into a blood vessel in your upper thigh and fed to your heart. Using a specialized tip, your cardiologist will target and fix abnormal tissue that is causing your arrhythmia. The procedure typically takes one to four hours to complete, depending on what your heart needs. After your procedure, you will go back to your room for monitoring. It is important that you lie flat for at least four hours to help your incision heal. Your healthcare team will let you know when you are allowed to walk around. In most cases, patients are discharged the same day. After 24 hours, you should feel free to continue most of your normal activities. Do not drive for 48 hours after your procedure. Do not lift more than 10 pounds. Do not participate in strenuous activity for the first week. Most patients experience no difficulty with the ablation procedure. However, any invasive procedure that involves the heart and blood vessel has some potential risk. The most common side effects include slight bruising or bleeding at the puncture site. If you notice bleeding at the site of your incision, lay flat and put pressure on the incision for 15 minutes. If the bleeding continues, call an ambulance and go to your nearest emergency department. Other side effects may include puffiness from excess fluid in your system, shortness of breath, chest pain that worsens with breathing known as pericarditis. This usually resolves in three to seven days with anti-inflammatory medications such as ibuprofen. In rare cases, patients may experience urinary tract infection, blood clots in your legs, stroke, heart damage to your valves or veins, palpitations or arrhythmias. For patients undergoing atrial fibrillation ablation procedures, there is one rare complication that can occur up to eight weeks after your procedure. That complication is a small connection between the heart and the esophagus. Prior to being discharged from the hospital, your nurse will provide you with a card describing this rare complication as the symptoms can be vague and include difficulty swallowing, fevers or infection, and strokes. If you are concerned about this after your procedure, we recommend you to come to the emergency department. Please speak with your cardiologist if you have any concerns. If you experience signs of stroke, fainting, high fever, call 911 or go to your nearest emergency department.